Hi, my name is Hannah, and I work as a scientist in a laboratory at Illinois State University. Our lab is part of the turtle team, and we study the immune systems of turtles to learn how they protect themselves from disease. One really important part of your immune system is your blood. Your blood contains white blood cells and antibodies to protect you from germs that cause infections. Antibodies are Y-shaped proteins produced by B cells, a type of white blood cell that circulate through your bloodstream. The antibodies recognize and attach to invading germs known as antigens to protect you from getting sick. Examples of antigens include viruses, bacteria, and even allergens like dust and pollen. In today's activities, we will show you how antibodies work to fight off infection. If you'd like to try this activity at home with us, it works best with two or more people, but you can try it by yourself as well. For each person in your group, blow up two balloons of one color and two balloons of another color. Feel free to use more balloons. For this first activity, our volunteers will be using balloons to show us how antibodies work. Okay everyone, the balloons represent germs or antigens and you are an antibody. Stand up and put your arms up like a Y shape. Now the job of the antibodies is to grab germs, so go ahead and grab some germs. Now we're going to learn some rules about antibodies. Antibodies only have two binding sites. Your hands represent two antibody binding sites, so you can only hold one balloon with each hand. Drop any extra balloons that you have. Our next rule is that each arm of the antibody is the same. Antibodies have specificity, which means each arm has to grab the same type of antigen. So go ahead and get the same color balloon in each hand. So antibodies can work alone or they can work in groups and make other formations. A lattice can form as antibodies bind more and more antigens together. If you have more than three people in your group, have the people with the same color balloons stand next to each other. So each person who has the same color balloon Drop one balloon and share a balloon with your neighbor. Now you've created a lattice. At this point, the antibodies have bound to the germs or balloons, but not necessarily killed them. There are special molecules in your blood called complement proteins that can lice or poke holes in the antibody-coated antigens, which lead to their destruction. The antibodies act as signals to tell the complement proteins what to do. So what about the antigens or balloons left over? Another way antibodies can help is to signal more white blood cells to eat or phagocytose the remaining germs to destroy them. Think like Pac-Man. In this next activity, we will further demonstrate how antibodies work and bind to their targets using cardstock examples of antigens, or germs, and antibodies. Antibodies grab onto germs or antigens based on shape, like puzzle pieces. Remember that they have specific binding sites that can only attach to two of the same kind of antigen or germ. Now, everyone find their matching antigen. This is a simple example of an adaptive immune response, one part of the body's immune system response. It allows the body to target specific germs or antigens and even remember them in preparation for future infection. Now we have an idea of how your immune system fights germs known as antigens using antibodies. 
Turtles also have antibodies, as well as other animals like your pet dog, cat, hamster, or fish. Here we only match a few different kinds of antibodies to antigens, but in reality, there are millions of different kinds of each. Our adaptive immune system has the ability to not only target specific antigens, but to create memory cells that remember the antigens that they've been exposed to. So the next time a familiar antigen enters the body, the immune system is prepared and the antigen is often quickly attacked. This is how many vaccines work, including the COVID vaccine for humans or the rabies vaccine for your dog. Our research to help keep turtles and people safe and healthy is supported by the National Institutes of Health and Illinois State University.